Hey again, let's be talking in this video about logic conditions. So to get started, I will get a new file. I will name it logic condition. Okay. And make sure always we are using fine action which is main rx have array of sitting pop 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 uh, array of sitting and this one so what we mean by logic when i talk about logic that mean the result either will be a true or the result will be false we don't have another cases either the result will be true or false so is three greater than five so this false because three is not greater than five so what about is five less than ten this should be a true yes five less than ten so this is what we mean by logic condition either true or false so think about this one think about you are printing is a three greater than five he will give you a result like maybe he give you true or false do you think he give you true or false he give you false why because the three is not greater than five is the three less than five yes i think three less than five he will give you a true see true or false so when we talk about logic we talk about either true or false we have a greater than less than a greater than or equal less than or equal and we have equal equal so equal equal mean these two variable equal is a three equal five is i think it's false no they are not equal so when you write equal you will not say write one equal one equal is mean like math it doesn't work when you talk about logic you have to use two equal in the programming so is the three equal five no but is five equal five you have to say true yes they are equal so you have to change this output to a true so see a true so what about not equal you have to use this one is five not equal five no five equal five so should she give you should give you false because they are equal they are not not equal so this is the basic very very basic operation we could talk about it greater than less than greater than equal less than equal that give us a true or false but this is not end of the story i want to talk in this video about three important gates that we will use them a lot a lot in our work which is and and or and not so let's get started for and and gate it is the gate that we use it in, in to to do two conditions so i say if i have a true and i have an and true the result will be true is that right this is the truth table for it you don't have to think about it a lot but think about it in this way ending so this is the result if you have a true and true the result will be true if you have a true false the result should be false if you have false or true the result should be also false that if you have false false and both condition is false the result should be false why because it's false so only in the AND gate only I have it the result will be true if the both condition is true so what does that mean if I say is a 3 greater than 5 is this is this give me true not if I want to write AND I would use this one AND this thing AND 3 less than 10 so wait what the result of this one is it three greater than five the result will be false what the result for this one is it three less than ten true so i have a true false and true false and true we say do what the result will be will be false so let me see so and gate will be true only if the both condition is it true so make sure from this thing add gate will give you true only if the both condition is a true so he give you false why because this one is false what if i say this so is a three greater than five is five greater than three yes that's mean this side is a true what about this side also should be true 
so if I say I have this is AND gate and I have true here and I have true here so a true AND true the result should be true now what you expect you will have you will have the result should be true so let me see what's going on so this is important part for you to learn how to do true false I know you got this thing in the math but you just want to know how to use logic so hey here you go true so you will have true only if the both conditions are true so I want to make sure if the number I someone enter it which is variable n someone enter it integer I want to make sure if this number is in the range of between 1 and 10 how I make sure of the number between 1 and 10 I make I have to do this condition I say if the number greater than or equal 0 because I say between 1 and 10 and the number less than 10 because I don't want to include 10 so what do you think a number here is 10 is 10 greater than 0 yes is 10 less than 10 no so yes and no true and false will be false because 10 is not between 1 and 10 10 is on the edge of the 10 so between, it's not between 0 and 10 because 10 is the outer as of the binary so I will give as uh, false but if I change it to 9 9 is between the range between 0 and 10 so this is you always said a lot in your course so false so what if I say I have 9 9 should give me true 9 is in the range in the range between 0 and uh, 10 so this is basically basic con like base use case we use it for condition how we do the ending how we could get benefit from ending to find the range so see 9 is in the range between 0 and 10 so did you see so always when you say hey I have AND gate that's mean the AND will give you true only if the both condition is true it is different from OR gate which is the opposite of the AND OP OR gate will be true in all cases so if I have true true the result will be true if I have a true false the result will be true if I have false false if I have a uh, false true sorry the result will be uh, again a true if I have false false the result will be false so here the opposite here he, he will be true in all cases only if both of them are false he will give you false so if I said here variable n2 is integer and equal mm, 55 I want to make sure if the number 2 is equal 10 or the or gate you, s you click shift you click shift and you click the one that uh, uh, the key and under the uh, the the pipe the pipe one so shift and the pipe one the pipe key so double you will have this one so or the n less than 100 so not if as I mean a print so what do you mean by that I mean hey check for me if the number is equal 10 no the number is not equal 10 or the number less than 100 yes 55 is less than 100 so I have to give you a true in the second case also so this is basically how the gates work how the and or work how you do it so when you need both condition to be executed you say hey I need and this one and this one when I need one of them to be executed I say hey, this one or this one so this is really really important thing for you to learn see true true because I didn't use the print line it's better to use print line always so you will see the result clear mm -hmm. so I have to give you a true now so this is basically as I told you how you do and or gates so let let me wait for a second and see both true true so when this one will be false give you false if both of the conditions not true so if I say greater 100 so is 1 equal 10 is 55 equal 10 no 
is 55 greater than 100 no so false false or should be false so this is basically also how to do the uh, or gates we have one last thing missing which is not gate not gets not like if you have true you say not he give you false if you have false you say not he give you true so if I say this thing if I say see he give you false here so let me talk about not gate so if I sell, say variable uh, um, is red equal true okay you need to print is the opposite of is married so you just say not you just click shift and this sign and you click is married so he will if it's a true you will change it to the false you just if it's false he will change it to the true so this is the not doing so the idea behind the logic you will see it in the next video when we have the condition statement the condition statement needs the to the final result will be true or the final result will be true always so you have to know how to get to final that true or final that false to get your condition to run see even this one is married is it true true is the boolean value when we say about true or false when i give a variable true or false that means this variable is a boolean okay boolean take either two value either the true or take false he don't take another another value so you have either give it false or true you cannot give it other values so now if I give it false I do uh, not gate for false he have to give me a true in the end so yes this is basically how or what I want to teach you in the gate is I have hopefully understand it well and everything was clear and here we done and thank you for watching